How can we be sure this experiment's gonna work anyway? We cannot. <laughs> so we start up some arrays, whatever those are, punch a hole in the abyss and then fly through? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Get over here, kid. We're about to land. We are close to finishing this. One way or another. Yeah. I keep thinking about what happened on Nova Garon. I know. Just don't brood so much that you lose your edge. We're counting on you. Yeah. I understand. We're in this together. That's what's keeping me going. What are you still doing here? Just checking in. Don't you worry. By the time those arrays are activated, I'll have the Manus in top condition. Thanks, Grace. Head to the control center. I'll hold down the fort here and get the Manus in shape for its final, I mean, uh, next destination. at the bar. Do you ever miss the glory days, Cal? The cut and thrust, the rough and tumble. It sounds like every day. Not that it's glorious. Well, I certainly had some glorious years. I'm sure I never told you about the incident over at Munilinst. Don't think you did. I was personally escorting a shipment of... Uh, Let's call it a sensitive luxury product. Unfortunately, we were costed by a customs longship. The fence had failed to update our transponder codes and our vessel was marked. Well, Bush comes to shove and we were boarded. I've got three customs officers waving blasters under my nose, so what do I do? I throw on the waterworks. Oh, Cal, you cannot imagine. I'm swearing up and down about everything from past marriages to lower back pain. Almost worked, too. But one pesky officer decided to kick open a shipping container full of the slightly incriminating powder. Guess the jig was up. Oh, <laughs> Cal. Cal, Cal. You're looking at a professional. I told them that they were looking at the ashes of a thousand ritually cremated Sereno war heroes. And by the stars, they bought it. The inspectors actually bought it. That, Cal, is why I'm here instead of rotting in a Munilinst work camp. More Imperials by the day. Looks like the party's over before it even began. Cal, while you're here, could I run something by you? Sure. What have you got? I heard some dredge operators discussing a strange structure in the swamp. Almost certainly another High Republic chamber. But I don't like my chances of conducting successful research on the raider's doorstep. 
Maybe I could check it out for you. Oh, that'd be wonderful. What's your academy like? Oh, amazing. Every building is partially suspended with repulsors. The campus looks like it's floating over the ground. It's magical. It sounds like a hard place to leave behind. It was, but things were changing. Looking down, you used to see nothing but nature. The ground is covered in ferrocrete now. All part of an Imperial control zone. Some other time, okay? You seem troubled. I just keep going through it all in my head. I lost some friends. If I'd done something differently, maybe they'd still be alive. No. When my planet was being invaded by the Empire, I led my family to an abandoned bunker. It had shelter, provisions, a great idea. Until it wasn't. It was shelled. I lost two brothers. It's awful. But you don't blame yourself for leading them there. Never. That decision was correct at the time. This is how I choose to live. Sojourner. What is? You killed some Jedi relic from the past. The one leading the Raiders? What was the bounty? No bounty. No bounty? You risked your life for free? Uh, I don't know. Not every reward is in credits. Besides, pretty sure I get free room and board here at Pyloons. Is that what your life is worth, Cal? Didn't take you for a gambler. There's Mr. Popular. A bounty hunting droid named Rez is stomping around the forest array. Don't bother squaring up. Stay light on your feet and you'll dance around that rust bucket. What can I entice you with today? You know you're gonna buy it, so just buy it. Busy, busy. I'm gonna go with this one. Barkeep. Good to see you, Cal. I've seen some long faces, but yours is still the longest I've seen in some time. Am I that easy to read? No, you're positively inscrutable. I just happen to be an expert. Now, what's on your mind? I lost some people close to me. Wounds still fresh. I'll bend an ear, if you're so inclined. If it wasn't for me, some friends of mine would still be alive. I doubt that. Most things in this galaxy are out of our control. What we can control is how we react to what the galaxy throws at us. Good advice, Monk. I'll try to follow it. You're a good man, Cal. Better than most who frequent this bar. Though perhaps that's not saying much. Despite what you may think, the galaxy isn't solely on your shoulders. Till next time, pal. See you when I see you. How you doing? Did I tell you my latest scheme? Don't think so. With the Empire here, thought I'd have a chance to turn a credit. Try selling useless scrap to a stormtrooper. I mean, how smart can they be? Oh. Turns out very smart. He immediately arrested me, smacked my head with the scrap, and threw me in a watering hole. Still getting into trouble, Turgle? exactly. In the watering hole, I found a shiny rock that the stormtrooper is sure to buy. Hi, Cal. Where's your buddy at? Bode's gone. Sorry. I know you two were close. He's not dead. He betrayed us to the Empire. Huh. Sounds like you're on the hunt, then. That's right. Do what you gotta do. Just remember that vengeance breeds vengeance. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. I'm really busy, Cal. Maybe later.
That biomass no longer a threat. Well done. Can't say I'm surprised. You and Beatty are tough customers. Salutations. How are you holding up, Grease? I'm just... I'm, I'm so angry, you know? I don't know what to do with it all. Yeah. Me too. Always something to do, huh? Afraid I got bad news, Cal. Got plenty in my own heart. I don't have to wait. All right. Don't let me keep you. Talk later. The Empire's dreadful, isn't it? Not the word I'd use. Something stronger then? Reprehensible? I'd go even stronger. I didn't want to believe something so despicable could have filled the vacuum left by the Order. No time to talk. Keep your head up. Tanalor is still within reach, but we must not delay. Not a bad selection. Take care, my friend. Does fortune favor you today? Take care out there! Spread the word about our little game, huh? Got a solid beginning here. Let's build on it. Ah, I was hoping you'd find seeds like that. Put one in the ground. I'll share what I've learned. We can talk later. Might as well plant some of these seeds. When plants grow, you grow. Decisions, decisions. Karen Disruptor Tech, are you? No? How about Slicer Droids? Don't lie to me. We don't mess with that black market gear. Smart. I made that mistake once. Ooh, never again. Sold some sensor jamming tech to a customer desperate to get a syndicate off his back. They traced the sale. Killed him, came for me. We've had a run-in or two with the syndicates. Oh, I barely made it out alive. Now, I keep my product clean. It's a bit pricier, but not as costly as a blaster bolt in the back, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Satisfying, isn't it? What is? Protecting this town. What with me keeping people fed, you keeping people... alive. You'd need three bodyguards to keep Turgle safe. <laughs> ain't that the truth. It's a lot to take on, but... In exchange, we gain something mighty valuable, don't we? A sense of purpose. It makes all this feel meaningful. Yeah. Guess it does. See anything you like? Ooh, that's a nice one. Gonna go with this one. Good choice. Practically had your name on it.
On them chatter on the comms, kid. How you doing? Just reach the control center. I'll let you know if I run into any trouble. Welcome. I am Centauri Cree, the director of this experimental facility. Safety protocols require one person to remain here while the arrays are active. Grease, unless one of us is gonna stay behind, we need someone here to activate the arrays. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll ask around. See if anyone's got a death wish. Maybe Turtle? Maybe not Turtle. Church troopers, what are they doing here? Welcome, Challenger.
soon slip up. Impressive. So, this is your kingdom. I work with many talented scientists. None as talented as you, Centauri. And yet we've reached an impasse. Perhaps he will bring me some much-needed luck. Let's stop for a moment. Okay, let's go.
This looks promising. Not bad for an abandoned facility. All the arrays are online. Now we just have to activate them. We must have locked down the facility when they evacuated. That's not gonna stop us. Proceed to the observation deck to initiate alignment. Gotta hand it to Cree. She thought of everything. See, you made it. Breeze informed me you're in need of assistance, so here I am. That's a long trip. Couldn't have been easy. I might be 200 years old, but I'm as spry as a Padawan. Amazing. Oh, Cal, this is simply amazing. Can you start the arrays when we're in position? Oh, I stand ready for your order. It would be my honor to see Master Kree's dream alive once more. We're your master. Not a terrible view, huh? You know, I'm feeling nostalgic. I last spoke to Master Kree 200 years ago. And yet, when I see her experiment lighting up the sky, I feel close to her once more. I understand. You do, don't you? Oh, Cal Kestis, not a day passes when I'm not grateful you pulled me out of that collapsed tunnel. Safe travels. And if Dag and Gera can chart that flight, then I know you can too. I'd love to chat with you, Cal, but Tannadol beckons, does it not? Time to head back to the Mantis, buddy. We go through the abyss. I'm not thrilled about it either. It's the only way we're getting to Tantalor.
Let's take these seeds to the garden. Hear what Peely has to say. It's all right. Nice. Drail. Old friend of Moran's. I saw your things in the back room. You'll have to forgive the more tasteless ornaments. Some of it used to belong to Drail, my old partner. He had a ghastly sense of style. Another outlaw? Not when I met him. He was running a perfectly legitimate port in Rhodia. Allowed me to use his docks for my shipments. No questions asked, supposedly. But we got to talking anyways. Sounds like a nice guy. He was the genuine article, all right. Probably why things didn't work out between us. So you've been out of the game completely since the Empire cracked down? More or less. Not that I didn't go down swinging. When the company went belly up, I insisted I could turn things around. But Dreo, my partner, he wanted to leave together. So what happened? Well, he left, all right. But in my infinite wisdom, I decided to stick it out. Try to turn the cards in my favor. I got greedy. I can't tell you how badly I wish I'd gone with him. Instead, I chose what you might call the scenic route to rock bottom. Brings us to this rue brittle cantina years later. At least he got out eventually. Will you take some advice, Cal? Sure. It's not just about getting out. It's about getting out before you lose everything. Another time. The Empire. So afraid of what it cannot control. Culture is our shield. But to them, it is a threat. Like what the Empire did to the Wookiees on Kashyyyk. So many traditions... extinct. And yet, it might prove the Empire's downfall. An intelligent Empire would co-opt the cultures it conquers, wielding it against their enemies. This one is rigid, obstinate. When the right threat arrives, it will be unable to adapt to it. Hope so. Not hope. This is known. The only question is when. Sojourner? The brood's getting desperate now, Cal. How's that? They've sent one of their best gunslingers to Jeddah, complete with droid backup, called the Half and their partner, a droid called the other half. The half and the other half? Eh, say what you will about the Hexian brood, but they don't like personality. Can't argue with that. Go give him a warm welcome, will ya? Apparently, Sork Tolmo still hasn't learned his lesson. Just like that. Far as I can tell, didn't even have time to radio me. Griff. That is just... Oh, Criff. Cal, did you hear? That fool Grok got done in by an Imperial patrol. Grok's dead? He even told the old bastard to be careful when he left. You sent him alone? I thought he could handle it. He was just nabbing a fuel injector. At least the fuel injector didn't take a single hit. That geezer sure didn't know his way around a payload. Guess you and Grok weren't so close, huh? No, this is what the old man would have wanted. Call it my bereavement tax. Come back later, yeah? Oh, this place is starting to fill up, Cal. Guess the word is out. 
It's looking pretty good. Oh, seeing this place start to get its legs feels like... like the start of something historic. What if, centuries from now, there's a city here? Even Eldera was just a lumber colony once. Doma better start investing in urban planning. True. Turgle told me he named a road after his foot. Some other time, okay? Barkeep. You look tired. Take a load off. Heritage ran out of here in a hurry. Have anything to do with those lights in the sky? Z's helping us out. Monk, we're about to take off. Don't know when we'll be back. If we'll be back. That sort of trip. I see. Well, you've got no open tabs, so I suppose all that's left to say is good luck. And come to Pie Loom Saloon. And we hope to see you soon. Catchy song. Maybe you missed your calling. Never too late to try something new. It was good to see you. Cal, did you find the spot I was telling you about? Yeah, actually. Thought you might be telling tales. I would never lie to you. I'm gonna hold you to that. Okay, but you're gonna be disappointed. Hi, Cal. Cal, glad you're here. There's talk of a giant piazza nesting in an animal graveyard on the far side of the valley. Figured you want to check it out. You figured right. Look at you. Already sounding like a local. Oh, before I forget, I heard there were a pair of newcomers over by the stone spires. I want to look for them. I already found them. They're going to start a hollow tactics table at Pylunes. Now we're talking. Piazza that size? Well, just don't take it lightly. I won't. Thanks, Mosey. With all your expeditions, what keeps you on Kobo? Now, even though I've been here a bit, Kobo is still a wild land. The Outer Rim is the frontier. So much is completely unexplored. So it's the unique flora and fauna? Partially. But another big reason is that on the frontier, you can reinvent yourself. I could be an outlaw, making a fresh start, and you'd have no idea. Are you an outlaw? You don't know. That's the beauty of it. Talk soon. Seems like every time you set to kick the grav ball, they pull it away. I'm chock full of regrets. The last time I saw Seer, all I can do now is hope that somewhere out there she forgives me. I'm sure she... No regrets, Grease. We gotta keep moving. Hey, that goes for both of us, kid. I'll keep things ticking here. Do these Imperials spook you as much as they do me? Yeah, they do. I'm just not used to this, mate. Sure, the Reach has always been dangerous, but this feels worse somehow. Hang in there, Har. They haven't taken Kobo yet. Yeah, you're right. It'll take more than some TIE fighters flying overhead to break our spirits. Cal, I appreciate you sticking up for the Reach. Sure use more like you. Yeah, you too, little guy. Talk later? Are you ready to go? Just about. When we confront Bode, just remember, he has what he wants. He will fight to the death to keep it. Try not to die out there. New tactical challenges await you. Farewell for now! You're not quite a champion, but you're close! Garden's looking kind of respectable. I see you found new seeds. Plant one, and I'll tell you all about it. We can talk later.
welcome. Oh, I can't believe Grok's gone. Did you know him, Cal? Not very well. Did you? Ah, I did. Our relationship was a fair bit contentious. Fool was always trying to sweet talk me. He was incorrigible, but... Well, now that he's gone, I guess I miss him coming in. And I never told him. I know the feeling. Is that right? Yeah. Ah, what a galaxy. Say we catch Boat. What do you think we should do? He must pay. But we must always remember that there are people counting on us. You're right. Our friends. Anyone who survived Jedha. We can't let them down. We won't. Jedi and Night Sister, together again. Hey, Grease. You all right? Just, you know, a, a little distracted is all. I mean, I'm about to fly freehand into a stellar anomaly with an appetite for starships. <laughs> and I'll tell you, my palms haven't been this sweaty since... You can do this. Yeah, sure. I can do this. Oh, who asked you anyway? Let's talk in a bit, yeah? Haven't used these since the scrapyard on Braca. Prof gave them to me. Cordova was a gentle soul. He deserved better. Cordova was a gentle soul. He deserved better. The Shio bird's feather is supposed to bring good luck. Huh. There's Grease's salt shaker. Where did I put the pepper? Every day, I wonder if I made the right call. Where should we go, buddy? <laughs> 